Good evening and welcome to another edition of the Sports Desk. Uh, joining me in studio this evening, as usual, my co-host, Paul on the ball. Good evening. Good and I know we have some guests. Good evening, Carl. Yes, we have um, a young man, um, up and coming rugby player. They call him Inches. Uh, his real name is Jerome Springett. And along with him is the captain of the rugby team, Mr. Donovan Stable. Welcome again to the show, guys. Thanks. Thanks for having us. No, I, I understand that you guys have some good news for us now. Well, actually, if we, if we go back a week, folks, these guys were here last week, and we kind of gave them a bit of a threat that they would go off this, off this cash freeze in St. Lucia, and if they didn't win, we told them to do what? We told them to stay in St. Lucia. <laughs> so they're back here, so I presume that you won. Welcome back home. <laughs> so go on. I won't steal your thunder. Yes, tell us, tell us um, how it was. Yes, we did went down to St. Lucia and have fun in St. Lucia and we played a nice game and we won. That's so you had fun back. and you also played a game and, and won. won. Yeah. <laughs> and after we won, we have some more fun. And some more fun again. No wonder you guys like going to St. Lucia. Yes, yes. Uh, the, the score, final score of the game? Final score is 30, um, 41-35. 41-35. to 35. So, Inches, what does that mean now for the national team? That means we have to play Caruso at home on the 15th of February. That's a, f a Friday night. That's the day after Valentine's. Yeah. So yeah. it could be our Valentine's beating, our Valentine's losing. So <laughs> <laughs> we aim for the beating. I was thinking more, you know, guys, you know, you can take your, your partner out or your wife, whoever, out on Valentine's night. And the following day after Valentine's, you then can come and take her out again to watch the BVI. Um, put blows, you know, on, on Curso. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, the game starts 6pm at, at the A.O. Shirley. 6pm at the A.O. Shirley Recreation Grounds. Carl, we have a date. Not you and I, I mean, we the, I'm, I'm the persons of the Virgin <laughs> Islands. I'm glad that you cleared I that. Clarify, yeah, <laughs> folks, I clarified that. I'm, I'm glad we that meeting you. the folks of the, British, <laughs> of the Virgin Islands. Yes, we and, uh, have a date. And that's not it. Um, Friday, if you have some fun Friday, there's a rugby fest. Saturday, you can have some more fun Saturday. That involving um, St. Thomas, Curacao again. And St. Thomas women team will play against um, BVI women team. So a wow. lot of rugby again on and Saturday starting at 1. Don't forget Princeton as well. Princeton University. Yeah, Princeton University. Yeah. University. I thought they were supposed to be coming well. down. Yeah. Well. Princeton University. But this is a this is a, a jam weekend. Yeah. Yes, weekend. it's a rugby fest. Rugby fest. The, the Saturday rugby is a rugby fest. fest. Now, yes. question for you. Do you know, do you think that um, you know that we could get some some young players, some new players? Well, sorry, not young. Some <laughs> some new, maybe tall, fast players on the side. Would you could you use any? We always welcome new players. Welcome That's why we always say uh, we train um 5:30. Anytime, quarter past five at the O Shirley, every Tuesday and Thursday, we welcome everyone who think they can really run fast and play rugby to come on down and good. join the team. Well, I know, I think I know someone who would be actually quite well, I, good. I think I, know, I think I know the same person that he's talking about. <laughs> yeah, I think he does. But hopefully, but hopefully uh, we'll see him show up on that day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, but we keep our fingers we'll crossed. Send an invitation up And he'll show up on that day. Yes. Now, um... Uh, how was the experience for you guys down in, uh, in St. Lucia? I mean, you haven't played St. Lucia for some time. I, never play. I played St. Lucia back in the 7th, but 15th was a shocker because we never played 15th against them. So we, we went down unexpected, what was going to happen? When we got there, they got up 10 points in the first 10 minutes and we were like lagging behind because we were getting down. Because we were like, how are we going to lose them? In two seconds, we put 10 points back on them and we went up 18-10. And then they got back in the better half in 2018, and then everything was just history after that. No, no, they call you inches. Tell me what is your role to be so small on a team with a, as, as physical as, as rugby? I was going to ask you why you call him inches. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a straight assumption. You can't assume why they call him okay. inches. Uh, well, they call me inches because I'm a team, of, a team of 22 guys, even guys that are 16 or 17. I'm still the shortest, no matter how old they are. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> and just check it. Yeah. My role on the team is actually to try to score tries, uh, get the ball outside and run it. But like for the last two two games, I've been like a mark man. So anytime I got the ball on the outside, I got like three or four guys in front of me. That makes spaces for the other guys coming inside. So I pass it to them and they go in and they, they do their thing. So does your height uh, has an advantage 
in a sport like rugby, uh, does his height really have an advantage? Um, his, his height is not really the advantage, it's, it's the speed. Oh, because yeah. even though I name him inch, because as if I, if I give him an inch and speed, then he'll take a mile. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I got you, I got you. I think the Lord talked this about before he gave it. Since he behaves, he's just rhyming. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. he reminds me of you, I mean. It sounds like a music singer. He's a job, I mean. You know, you're talking, you're looking for a player. You could, you could make a switch here, you know. Tell him the rugby team, you come and be my... Be, you be, can be the main man, I'll be your I'll be No, um, Donovan, um, when you guys were down 10-0, what was going to uh, what was going to your mind? Well, the game started out um, like a seesaw battle. The first five minutes was like down 10. I'm like, guys, we have a lot of time. It's just the first half, and then in the next... 10 minutes, um, we pressure a guy down in the corner and he made a bad pass and Dustin picked it off and that was five points. And then in about two minutes time, it was 10-10. Wow. So it's like it was 0-0 again, we was right back, back in it. Yeah, and then we take it from there and then the end of the first half, um, we kind of relax a bit and they came back. And then the next half we have to back a back. So it was a seesaw battle. That was more than we expected, but um, we have more experience than, than them, given the, the fact that this is the first time they enter the 15 size tournament, and we have some guys that have been around a while and okay. very experienced, and Dustin stepped up as the number 10, and he played really well, and then Andre in the last half step up, and every guy just step up and, and, and did their bit. Even when it was nine minutes down, we was down by five points. I said, come on guys, it's just nine minutes to go, we have a lot of time. And then we'll come back and score two try before the game finished. So that's sure that we have heart and we have fight and we're doing something good. Yeah, even in, on that same note, even then, uh, I had a point of time and I, I chased the ball back and I caught it. And I'm not maybe that kicker, but one of the guys yelled to me, kick. So I kicked kick it right into the guy's hand and he scored the try. And I was, I was like, I thought he had a minute left to play. And they were only up one, so they went up four. So now I was thinking, how are you going to get it back? Yeah, we're going to do it. And he came to me as a captain and said, Inch, don't worry about it, we get it back. And he cleared my mind and we just played on. Two tries, victory, and I was it. No, Curso, this should be a little tougher. Uh, what, what can we expect, or what do you expect uh, from Curso? They have, they have they had the experience in the 15 aside? Or? I think this is their first 15 aside as well, but they played against St. Vincent and they won, so that's why they're on to the second round. But I played Caruso in sevens in November in 2011, and they got some really big guys, not really the speed, but the big guys, so we, we got them on the speed, because we got speed all around. Okay. But so, it's now so, it's, it's, so it's had, to get them. height, and we got speed. Yeah, well, yeah, we have the height now, don't we? <laughs> 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 I, I think you're trying to get into something in a ball. No, I'm just trying to improve the, uh, the, the national team with some, okay, some good sure. athletes. And okay. But you, you know, you have to be a certain age um, as, 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 as on Donovan the, didn't on want to stay. Oh, well, yeah, then, so. then that takes you yeah, over. No, 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 age no limit, man. Age doesn't matter. No oh. so, so, so there you go, Paul. There you go. <laughs> we, got, we got at least two guys, 50 playing on us, and they play the whole game in Sanusha. So I have to play then. <laughs> um, Paul, you remember Victor? Victor has been around a, a long time. That's Victor right. is now yeah. 45 and Victor is still playing. So. Well, Victor. And yeah. Yes, Victor, Victor Franklin. Don't forget, don't forget Andrew Simmons as well. He's making 50 this year. And yeah, he's and Simmons still playing. Still playing. Oh, yeah. so, so, still playing. so that's excellent. So, ages. so we're looking at yeah. ages so, as a number card. So my colleague and myself, would, uh, we, we could uh, come down and uh, try. I saw, I saw you in uh, some shots some days ago. I thought you were, <laughs> you were actually going into the warm up. <laughs> um, <laughs> You thought so? Huh? Yes. Um. Thought, yes. So let's talk a bit more about Curacao. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes. so, you, you, so you guys think that you have the speed and what uh, on them. I tell you, that, listen, Carl, what, what we can probably do now is to take a pause for a cause. And have a. Uh, yeah, when we, we have some other guys that are, gonna, that are on the team, the winning team. Let's take a pause for a pause. When we come back, we can talk more about the rugby guys. And also, we can get you guys to call in and give us a, send a text. We give them the number when we get back. Stick and stay. Sports desk, we'll be right back. Greatest adversary of all. Some people confront it to become champions. Some to lose weight. Some to go down in history. Some to make their mothers proud. Whatever medal you're 
you're striving to win, effort will always be the main adversary to beat. New Formula Gatorade with no artificial colorings and sweeteners helps you overcome effort. Gatorade works naturally. Gatorade is distributed in the BVI by Road Town Wholesale. Short is never an option. Listen to some sound advice. Magico's Nagicare is one of the best medical insurance plans your money can buy. We offer you solutions to medical coverage benefits tailor-made to your budget and preferences so that the next time you visit the doctor, you can rest assured that we've got you covered. Visit our website, Nagico.com, or contact a Nagico office or agent near you. Nagico Insurances, we've got you covered. Speedies, the ultimate way to travel in and around the Virgin Islands. We offer daily ferry services between Virgin Gorda and Tortola and St. Thomas on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Speedies also offer three daily services from Trellis Bay, Beef Island, including a 10.30 p.m. convenient late run from Virgin Gorda. Explore paradise in Virgin Gorda with car rentals, deep sea fishing, private charters, and taxi services with free pickup offer. Don't settle for anything less. When thinking of travel in the Virgin Islands by land, or C. Think Speedies. Full air conditioned cabins and a well stocked bar. For more information, call 495 5235 or 495 5204. Welcome back, guys. Uh, if you just tuned in with us, uh, we have in the studios with us uh, the folks from the Rugby uh, Association. They just came back from St. Lucia in uh, a tournament that they had over there that won uh, the 41 to 35. Uh, they beat up on the St. Lucians. That's what I was told. And uh, in the studio, we have an, another young man, um, Paul. Well, they call him Mellow, so I understand, but he is Melvin Knight. Melvin, welcome to the show. I know um, I've been hearing some good things about you. Yeah. One of the local heroes that have returned uh, yes. with, with a gold medal. So now is the time for you to uh, step up. So tell us a bit about um, how the game went and what part you played in, in the win. Well, the game was good, right? But I was playing, I, at the beginning we were playing a little, a little like, we weren't ready. A little low key. Yeah. There and you then, go, that's the word. Like them score like ten, the two try make it ten. But afterwards we get we pull we head into the game and we score and we went ahead. And so. So let me ask you a question, Melo. Why did you get involved in, in rugby? What attracted you to rugby? Well, the first time I played rugby was a school, the school tournament I had. Then I was like, when I get into the game, I see it was good. Well, I think we have a, a call online. Oh, we certainly do. Okay, well, it's, 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 it's gone. Uh -huh. The caller will come back. Well, if you're trying to call, please give us a call back. Melo, you go ahead, you're telling us we got involved. Well, yeah, as I was saying, the game, when I was playing the school tournament, rugby, I get into the game, but then I see, like, the game, it takes a while for me to understand how the game goes, right? But when I get my head into the game, and I see how we went, I kind of get the hang of it and I start to love how to, how to play it and so. So I continue playing and the coach tell me, called me and tell me to join the national team. So I continue playing with them now. And you see the ages of the guys in the national team now, which is Donovan, quite impressive. We're bringing some fairly young, well, some not fairly, very young guys onto the national team. And yeah, Melvin is just 17 and it's another youngster who is 16 named Aston. And we're preparing them to go to Trinidad next year to represent the BVI in an in a under-19 tournament. Carla, I think we have a call again. Paul? 
not that I can see, Carl. Okay, well, my producers are saying that we have a call. So I don't know if our phone is working. We have a text. I can take the text. Now, folks, if you're just joining us, uh, our numbers to call is 541-6708. If you want to text us, 541-6709. Somebody, if you, okay, go ahead, if you join us on the web, it's www.jtvlive.net. I think somebody's trying to be funny here because they said, why are the rugby guys wearing a flowery kit? I thought they're supposed to be tough. <laughs> Donovan? Any what say you? <laughs> any comment to that? I, I kind of like the uniform. We have the caller coming in now. Good evening, sports desk. Go right ahead, please. Oh, well, I guess they decided. Well, you can also, if you see on the screen, you also give us a text on the 09 number. On the yes. 9, the 8 is... 6709 is 6, a text. 6709 is a text. So if you... So call if you are. Uh, we just missed you if you want to try calling back again. Oh, okay. Uh, we'll let have you. Um, they, were, they, were, they were talking about the uniform? Yes, yes. Well, well, it, well I, I think the person is just sort of being a... Just, just I think the uh, uniforms are, 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 are um, nicely... At, at least the colors are in there. The national colors are in there. Yeah. And it's, it's, it's different. I like that. You have any problems with it? We're not that? No, I like how we look. Yes, it's different, eh? Yeah, it's, it's compared a, to yeah. the one I have. It's actually quite a colorful shirt. I mean, actually, I think it's probably because you're seeing the top part of it and you're looking at it from at home. It's actually quite a very nice, um, well put together shirt. Um, when, when they play on it, it, it looks quite nice. So it's, 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 it's a little out of the box, but a, a very, very... Very nice. Yes, what nice do you guys think of it? It's a nice kit. I've seen the full kit, and it's it, it's well designed by a player named Tom Chapman. Oh, Tom oh, wow. is the one. Well, we know Tom very well. Here comes the caller again. Good evening, sports desk. Go ahead, please. Okay. They said you have you have to hold before the caller comes through, and then you answer. Okay. You have to hold. Okay. Ten right. seconds. All right. Well, um, we have two more texts okay. coming in, so we'll take those ten. Okay. What is your prediction for the Curacao game? The first. What do you predict? How do you think you're going to win, lose? How do you think you're going to do in the Curacao game? That one. Well, I think we're definitely going to win. Um, I mean, you're on your home turf. Yeah. So you're well, expected to do. Uh, we're not going to allow anybody to come in our backyard again and try to take over. I'm, I'm, glad, I'm glad that you said that time. because I said Barbados took it away from That's you. That's why I said <laughs> again. <laughs> well, either, well, either a rugby supporter one of the players who is looking says, listen, the kit doesn't matter. Tell them they must come and watch us play. That's right. So I don't want right. to hear no... Stop asking about the kit and ask the guys about the game, right? That's right. That's right. There you go. Okay. Problem solved. And, and, so, like, and like the captain just said, ain't nobody coming in our backyard again and stealing a thunder away from us. No, no, no. Those days are gone. That's those, right. Those, right. Those, those, those 17 and, 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 days is a god. And I think that uh, that's going to apply to all sports, right? I just said those have okay. been <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Uh, we have another text coming through, if I can get to it. Uh, that somebody's um, responded here quite quickly. So they heard the BVI has two tickets. Where are they two? They heard we have two tickets. Oh, we are left, we giving away two tickets? We left with two tickets to paradise, but we came back with 22 tickets to paradise. <laughs> Okay, so obviously somebody's just set up here. <laughs> so like he knows, he knows what's going on. He was expecting this thing. Yeah, he knows what's going on. What do you say I have to do what now? To, to pick up the call? I think I'm, I think I'm making an okay. error here, folks. I'm trying to find out what I have well, to do. Ten, ten seconds to answer. Ten seconds to answer. So wait until ten seconds and then answer? Yes. Right. So seven, eight, nine, ten. Now you can answer. Ah. Yes, you will have to turn You're on your the sports desk. Yes. Please turn your, your TV down. TV down. Good evening. You're on sports desk. Just, yeah. Are we still getting an echo from us? Hello. Just hold on there. Turn the volume down. Just have you... Hello, yes? Go ahead. Hello. Well, we're hearing them. They're hearing but we're not getting any calls. So, you call us back if, you know, because there may be a technical problem here. Right. Okay. Yeah, but that, that 10 second thing evidently worked because they picked up, I heard my voice in the background, but we didn't get any okay. feedback. Okay. Now folks, like I said, if you just joined us in the studios with us this evening, we have the folks from the rugby uh, team. Uh, like I said, they just came back from St. Lucia where they uh, won uh, the first leg of their tournament. Uh, the competition and uh, the second leg is in Tortola where we'd have uh, Curacao uh, coming down to play. And hopefully if you guys get to Curacao, what's the third leg? 
Um, Barbados. Barbados, and if you guys remember last year, Barbados beat up on us uh, pretty well. And according to the captain, he said not on his ship this time. Well, I mean, don't, don't know. Actually, we're going go to ahead. Barbados this time and we're going to return the favor. Okay, right? good, good, good. Because like we're going, going to play that. Barbados in Barbados. In Barbados. Yeah, so. And return, and return the favor that they return to us. Right. And, if, and if you Definitely. guys are not sure what rugby is, uh, I think we have a, a, a clip on the screen that will give you an idea what uh, rugby is all about. Uh, there was a. Uh, the, 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 the clip that you're looking at right now is uh, the clip of Barbados last year beating up on us. Uh, we did uh, think fairly well, it's just that we lost uh, in the end. Yeah. Oh, and because we were a little tired, we were a little out of shape, but we got some new young blood in there this year. So we got the speed that's gonna uh, make that, uh, that change this year. Now, uh, there was a beautiful movie, Paul. Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, the one with the, uh, uh, my guy from Africa, what's his name again? Oh, I know you're talking about. Yes. What, I, that, that really got me uh, into the rugby thing. Oh, with, um, oh, the, uh, with South, when they went to South, South, the place, yes, yes, South yes. Africa, the World Cup. Right. Yes, yes. That's the one yes. with Nelson Mandela. When Nelson Mandela came yes, and yes, yes. Um, Actually, isn't he the one that has a Lizard Virgin God here? Um, yes. That's the same as has a virgin. Everybody knows his name. Again, when it has a house in Virgin God, he oh, was a, and the, the Oh, are you talking about the guy who died? No, he's very much alive. He is? Please. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we have a text. We have a text, please, 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 please. Okay. Let's take the text. Can you tell me why you have... Why is the ball shaped the way it is? Why is, it so, why is the ball so oddly shaped? The rugby ball. It's it's easier to catch and pass because you pass backward. I think that's a very good answer. Um, no, Donovan. I I think a question like that was a text by the way. Right. Thank question. You, the, the question I think would have been for, if I was to ask something like right. that. A football and a rugby ball is almost the same shape. A football, an American football. No? American football yeah, and a rugby ball is almost just the same bigger. shape. Yeah. The rugby ball is just bigger. Yeah. yeah. No. A football should be played with by the foot, which should be called soccer, right? That's what we call soccer, right? Well, that's what that's what no. that's what some people are known it by. So, I mean, so FIFA, what do FIFA call it? Soccer. FIFA call it soccer. I think FIFA calls it football. Oh, it does. Yeah. Okay. FIFA definitely calls it football. Okay, so the American calls it soccer. The Americans right. call it soccer, but now the Americans who call it soccer have football teams in the World Cup. Of course. Playing football. Of course. They also have cricket teams. They do. They do. I okay, think we, we have, have a call, call coming in. <laughs> this is an interesting, uh, you know, interchange between Carl and I. Here, let's take a call. We'll try again this time. We have to give it a little bit of a pause. Of course, with our sponsors line. Good evening, Sports Desk. Go right ahead, please. Good evening, Mr. Julius. Good evening. Thank this you. is Kenny Thomas. Hey, funny. How are you, my brother? I was here trying to get into you all for the last 10 to 15 minutes. Oh, what was the problem? Well, they told me to call the text number. Right. So, I just recall now and the text number is working. Okay, great. Okay, so we're glad that you made that clear. First of all, I want to tell the rugby boys congratulations on their victory. Thanks. Thanks, thanks. And second, Mr. Yuna, congratulations on your new post. <laughs> okay, thank you. I oh, just wanted to call and let you know that. <laughs> what post is that again, Funny? <laughs> I can't remember the name, but it's a high post. Okay. okay. <laughs> we'll have to talk about that later. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> All right, my brother. I think, oh, I think that was okay. But funny, if you want to call back, thank you. There seems to be a, a no. blockage on the, on the, so you got, you got to call the text number and it's working, it taking calls. Yes. So, so if you want to give us a call, apparently there seems to be a problem with the middle phone. But uh, Carl, if we're going to well, yeah, we'll, we'll have time to bring on the, the last, yeah, there's one last young in your group we would take, we'd really like you to have a look at. So we're going to take a pause to thank our sponsors. Lime. Lime. Of course. Of speedies. Course speedies. Play to win. Play to win. Rotan Wholesale Gatorade. And Gatorade. <laughs> you don't want to Gatorade. See, Carl's on the ball today. So we'll take a pause for a call. When we come up, we have a last test and we'll, we'll um, have a look at our last youngster. After that, we've got Taisha Harrigan, who is outside waiting to come in and we can't wait to see her. You know, she is the fastest woman 
in the Virgin Islands, I want to say, in the, in the world, but we get, that's next. <laughs> Take a stay, we'll be right back. Effort is the greatest adversary of all. Some people confront it to become champions. Some to lose weight. Some to go down in history. Some to make their mothers proud. Whatever medal you're striving to win, effort will always be the main adversary to beat. New formula Gatorade with no artificial colorings and sweeteners helps you overcome effort. Gatorade works naturally. Gatorade is distributed in the BVI by Road Town Wholesale. Gatorade Lab Test 01 Prime, trial number 10. Fuel training. Trigger muscle response. Ignite. Gatorade Prime, part of the G Series. Gatorade is distributed in the BVI by Road Town Wholesale. I'm Kirk Adams, singer, songwriter, producer. Communication is key for me, so I depend on my Lime service to help me make it happen. My Lime BVI value plan gives me unlimited local calls to Lime Mobile and Landline, 2,000 minutes to call third-party networks on island, 250 megabytes of 4G data, plus I get 650 minutes to call USA, Canada, USVI, Puerto Rico, and UK landlines. The all new BVI value plan for just $99 per month. Sign up today and unlock additional savings on your choice of select superhero handsets from the BVI's leading 4G network. Lime, value every moment. If you rep in the VI, let them know it's not the game. Okay, folks, if you're just joining us, we're in our last leg with the guys from the rugby. We have in the uh, studio another young gentleman, uh, Paul. Yes, we do. <laughs> um, Jason Thompson. Jer Jerome. 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 Jerome Thompson. Why did I write Jevon? Jevon Thompson. Jevon Thompson. Jevon Thompson. Jevon Thompson. Jevon Thompson. Yes. Yes. Jevon yeah. Thompson. And we have a, a number of texts coming in. One person was asking about fields, but we really want to focus on the rugby guys that are here. Uh, we don't really want to get into fields. That's, that's for another program. Um, so we'll answer that another time, but I, we, we want to take a few other t quick texts very quickly. Um, it says, um, how good is your coaching? I mean, somebody's... Who is the coach? Who is the coach? Who is the, yeah, I think, more, is it Saul that's in the background there sending texts? Is that you? I'm the Solomon? coach is Solomon Sherlock. Solomon Sherlock. Okay. Okay. Is, is very good, and they have an assistant, which is Ian James. Well, Solomon has been putting in a lot of work. I yeah. must say, um, big ups to Solomon. Uh, he, was, he actually was trying to recruit me for for right. rugby at one time. Yes. Yeah, so. And do do you do you guys not um train at the Australian ground? Yeah, we train yeah, at, you, at, you at the ground. You use the lights there, right? Um, we we'll get try to get there for quarter past five. Um, oh, last so year I was using the light, but I don't know what happened to the light this year. Right, this year. Well, the issue is somebody asked about the lights. I don't know. I, I think it's the same person that asked about the field. But I will answer that one because the issue is that it is quite expensive to use the lights. Football paid over twenty thousand dollars last year for the use of the lights. Now, if rugby is willing to pay twenty thousand dollars for the use of the lights, they can certainly have the lights every night. If not, they probably are going to have to be charged a specific use. What you can do is speak to the Recreation Trust and find out what it is that costs you to use the lights and you're certainly welcome to do so. Other than that, it may be cheaper for you to get there early and use the lights. Yes, well at this point we've been getting there like quarter past mm -hmm. five and make use of the natural light that right. there is every there Tuesday go. and ch Thursday. Cheaper to use the And everybody is welcome to come down and join. Excellent. 
Let's talk a little bit COVID. Nearly all the time. About what's happening on the 16th of the COVID. There's a lot of teams coming in on the Saturday or the Sun. It starts on the, on the 15th. Fri on the the, um, 15th. Princeton and Curacao are coming in on the Thursday. Right, which Thursday. Is the 14th, Valentine's Day. Right, okay. And then the Friday. The 15th. The 15th. Right. We'll play Curacao, which is the Caribbean, the, the knockout right. championship. Mm -hmm. And when that is over, we'll have a big party. I think it's put on by Digicel. We'll have a big Digicel party. Go home, rest, and come back for the rugby fest the on the Saturday, the, the 16th. Clash of the rugby you're talking about on the 16th? Yes. So yeah. tell us a bit about the Clash of the rugby. The Clash of the Rugby on the 16th, mm -hmm. um, that involved the BVI, St. Thomas, Princeton University, Correct. and Curacao will participate right. in this. Right. So I see BVI well. versus USVI, Princeton versus Curacao, BVI versus USVI, Princeton versus BVI, and Curacao versus USVI. So Curacao is also staying on for that yes, festival. Yes, staying on for that festival. Right. Excellent. And it's also up the BVI ladies. Taking on St. Thomas. BVI leaders also will be taking on St. Thomas as well. So that's right. a host of games that are going to be played on the final day, the 16th. It's a whole weekend. It's, it's, it's really, really, it's a festival weekend of, of rugby. Of rugby. Yes. Yeah, that's what it really is. And, and so, you know, it's Valentine's weekend, so you got no excuse. Come on down. And those guys always have loads to eat and drink as well. And it's usually free. <laughs> <laughs> So and, and, you, and you know we like free, pal. We, yes, we're typical West Indians. We yes. love free, yes. so we won't say no to free. Okay. Now, guys, uh, like I said, it's been a pleasure um, having you guys come in. We congratulate you guys on your win. Um, you know, we're going to be trying to be there on the 14th, 15th, and, and 16th, 16th yes. yeah, to uh, get some of that free stuff that you guys have. <laughs> Paul and myself. Yes. And let's, 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 let's hear another word from, from, from Javon before, we, before, we, before you go, Javon. Any final words about the games coming up or any friends you want to say hello to some? Games coming up, I'm hungry. <laughs> hungry. I'm hungry, for, I'm hungry so, for a week. And I hear, you, I hear you've been improving in Leafs and Blondes, you're one of the big boys now. Yes, um, I'm a forward, I usually play front row. Um, one of the meanest positions you could play. So I really, really hungry. So don't be, don't be fooled by the smile. No. And, and, I, and I can, I can, I can vouch that I saw him put in some work earlier in the season, trying to get his strength up. So uh, he, he must be right there by now. Okay, get in there, get in there. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah. Donovan, any final words from you? Reminders of the dates when the events are going to be? Uh, 15th and the 16th. Use the Valentine's Day to market two days after Valentine's Day. 15th and on the 16th, the big festival where all the teams come together. So we want to thank you guys for coming here. Certainly congratulations again, Donovan. Go ahead. I just want to thank the sponsors before I go. I sure, want to thank Digicel, Chris Global, um, Maples, Olympic Committee, Olympic Committee, SHRM. I just want to say did, a big thank you to them. That and JTV. <laughs> Um, Get that in, right? And, and yeah, JTV. JTV have been good to us. There you go. Right. So, fellas, again, congratulations. Carl, we're on to the fastest woman in the world. Coming up next. Coming up next. Stick and stay. stay. <laughs> we'll be right back. Your moisture wicking fabric isn't enough. Your zero weight shoes aren't enough. Your carbon fiber racket isn't enough. The apps that track, analyze, and motivate you aren't enough. Nothing you put on is. It's up to you. You and what's inside you. What you put into it is what you get out of it. Simple as that. explode into the record books. You show no mercy. You come back strong. You win from within. Gatorade is distributed in the BVI by Road Town Wholesale. Planning on getting a new cell phone or accessories for the old one? What about a laptop? tablet, plasma, or even an LCD TV at a very low price. Well, the wait is over. Come on down to Sahid Department Store, cell phone and accessories, located in Road Town. We carry all major cell phone brands, Blackberry, Motorola, Samsung, Nokia, 
LG, Sony Ericsson at low prices guaranteed. We carry brand name laptop computers from Sony, Acer, Toshiba. We have tablets from iPad 2, Motorola, Sony, Samsung, Blackberry Playbook and LG. To make that moment last forever, we carry digital cameras, camcorders, and watches for men and women. Now is the time to shop for that special gift for that special someone at Sahi Department Store. We have the largest cell phone accessories on island. Check us today for the lowest prices guaranteed. I'm Kirk Adams, singer, songwriter, producer. Communication is key for me, so I depend on my Lime service to help me make it happen. My Lime BVI value plan gives me unlimited local calls to Lime Mobile and Landline, 2,000 minutes to call third-party networks on island, 250 megabytes of 4G data. Plus, I get 650 minutes to call USA, Canada, USVI, Puerto Rico, and UK landlines. The all-new BVI value plan for just $99 per month. Sign up today and unlock additional savings on your choice of select superhero handsets from the BVI's leading 4G network. Lime. Value every moment. If you're repping the VI, let them know it's not the game. Well, guys, uh, <laughs> just checking in with us. We got uh, no other than Tahisha Harrigan Scott. Oh, I don't, get, I don't get the... No, no, you don't, oh, no. You don't know. I, I, I introduced this one. I, I, I'm confused. I this one. Tahisha, well, welcome back. Thank you. Thank welcome you. back. I see um, you, you're looking a little spiffy there. I do. That's good. Okay, thank I, you. I, I, actually, I actually heard her this morning on the radio, and I said, right. it's impossible to see that Tahisha came to the island and didn't uh, check in with us, Paul. So I had to call up. You had to call up. Oh, yes. It's a right, small right. country, so you can yes. gain touch. There you go. You there you go. Thank Instantly. You, <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome. I, I understand that you have big things going on. Yes, I have, I'm hosting the Harrigan Scott Speed and Technical Camp this weekend. So it's on Saturday from 9 to 3. So I'm hoping that all your parents will bring their kids out and started to meet some world-class athletes. Okay, well, I'm gonna ask some silly questions mm -hmm. now. Why should they bring them out and, and, and what's happening there? Okay, well, the, the main focus of my camp is to target the young kids. I think we have a lot of talent in the BVI right now. And I don't wanna see a drop off on the junior level to the senior level. So technically, or typically, we have a big outspur of kids on the, the youth level. And then when we get to the senior level, there's not a transition. So my goal is to kind of bridge that gap and have a, a development developmental stage going towards the senior level where they can grow and develop and actually understand the sport and what it takes to become a world-class athlete. Now we are live if you want to call Taisha and give us your view the number is 541 is it 008 or 9 it's on it's on the screen. 6708 6709. 6709 is the number to call. Right. To, to call and text. Right it's on it's on the screen. No, no. Yeah. Taisha um, just like Paul I, I, I really want to ask a question now mm -hmm. after all of this has been done what's next what's next is to keep the in terms of this the camp itself this camp is going to be a yearly camp so what my goal is we're going to bring in some olympians and some actual olympic champions so for track and field olympics is the the meat of all meats the biggest thing that you can get so if we have our kids interacting with these with these people on a regular basis seeing that okay here's their experience here's what you can do to get to this level we have karani james from grenada which is a 400 meter world champ mean world champion and olympic champion and it's a, it's a small country it's a small island just like we are so we know that if you put in the work if you have the determination if you stay focused if you stay driven that these things that that can happen and we have some talent right now so I, I see no reason why we can't have our kids setting up to be Olympic champions and world champions but, but let me ask again mm -hmm. now um, based on that information that you just gave uh, our talent our pool gets a little bigger and it grows mm -hmm. now you've used uh, jump started something which is uh, an, an awareness yes. basically that's what you're trying to do uh, the awareness. after that awareness has been is uh, started now, what's the next move for 
who uh, who would be well it's a it's a it's a team I'm effort saying? basically right. it's a team effort i can do one thing the parents can do one thing the coaches can do another thing and the community can do another thing so what we have to do we have to come together and make sure that we move in a positive direction for our kids whether or not we're doing great or we're not doing as good as we want to do we still have to motivate them to the next level so therefore we have to have the support from government from the sectors from everybody in our society making sure that we congratulate and we we put forth that motivation where we have that sense of country pride for our kids when they go out and compete for our country. That's 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 what I was actually <laughs> get, trying to get out of us. Yeah. <laughs> but it's you know, a great answer. And, and, and speaking of country pride, one of the things that I found in the in the path we were lacking was the was the pride for national anthem. Yes. But we just brought in a, a national song, and I've got to tell you, yesterday at the was it yesterday? Yes, yesterday at the football opening of the, the youth football. Um, Pro, um, program of the Youth Football League, they played the national song and nearly every single child was singing the national song. But Paul, I, I can tell you this much. I have a three-year-old <laughs> and she's actually going to be singing the national uh, song uh, for the agriculture fest that's coming up too. So. Oh, really? You see? <laughs> and, and I didn't and, know that you that and, was and, 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 in your family and, and, and I learned it so fast. You yeah. Because yeah. yeah. I'm still trying to get the words together. Well, it's <laughs> understandable. You understand it. I could get the, the right. chorus, but yeah. I'm still trying to get the words. <laughs> but yeah. yes, I, I, and that's I'll where it starts. Them. That's where it starts. And, and when you get that national pride, and I mean, have you heard all the kids singing this song? You, you need to hear it. It I brings. Things goosebumps. Goosebumps. goosebumps to you, yes. Because well, when the, on Saturday we're going to have that. Absolutely. Yes. It's, I'm telling you, the kids are uh, fascinated with this, with, with this whole new thing of singing the song. It mm -hmm. is, a, it is great. It's what we've been lacking, and uh, you know, the, the kids are our future. Yes, they are. Bottom they line. Definitely are. We have a call coming through. I'm, I'm going to give it a shout here. We've been having a little technical the difficulty so you can try again like I said the you number is on the screen you you give us a shout yes we did so they look at the number on the screen and give us a call again and try and come through it I'm sure Taisha would love to take your call and you could also send us a text on the on the same no, number um, like she says she just mentioned she has a uh, Karani James coming in if, if you guys don't know who Karani James is he's he's from Spice Island Grenada of course that's like in our oh, backyard hey what I'd recommend go to YouTube and type in Karani James and you'll see exactly who he is <laughs> yes. for the Go youngsters uh, Google. Yes. Yeah, yeah yeah well I'm saying they'll go to YouTube and type it they'll see him running course, there'll, there'll be no doubt then and who, who's the other person that we you have Dwight Phillips he's also the a long jump um, Olympic champion yes, world I champion I from well. USA and then I, we're gonna I, I, have I she said White stones. Yes. Okay. Um, so what's going on with Taisha though? Taisha is basically taking this all in. So I'm a little nervous at the same time because I'm excited. You know, whenever you do an event and you expect so much to happen that yes. you get excited and anticipating the event. So I'm just waiting for Saturday. Everything else that I'm doing and focusing on is out the window. This weekend is about the kids and just making sure that they get the information and they have fun and they go away with something, being learning learning something from this camp at the end of the day. That's my question. Is, is this the, the long-term goal that we've seen of Taisha Harrigan, is this what your, where your focus is long term? Long term, yes. My goal is to build or for our country to have a BVI powerhouse. I think we can do it and I think we have the capabilities and the talent to do it. So my ultimate goal is to build a BVI powerhouse with females and males collectively, not just we're, we're pouring out on one side and then we're lacking on the other. I want it to collectively where we can have a male and female team going out there and competing and a force to reckon with. And so you know we, what I think? Yes. I think your timing is excellent. Thank you. <laughs> I, because I really um, if, 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 if you checked um, from the stats from last year's career mm -hmm. the games, you can see that you know we're heading in that direction. In that, that definitely. And I just want to make sure that stays it, it, it carries over and it stays and you know I, I, I made the point um, having known Antigua for so well and 20 years ago they were the powerhouse in Leeward Islands mm -hmm. they were the ones that everybody looked up to everybody wanted to be like the Antiguans they had so many they had so many really really good athletes mm -hmm. you know I remember people like Alfred Brown and Joe Christian Lester Benjamin all really good athletes yes. and look at the, the Antiguans today comparatively they know? Yeah. you know they they should they should have been you know 
you know they should have they at least have a relay team like the kids and yeah. you know you know but you know that they, they, they have not progressed so the point is that we are there now we we are we have broken through yes. and as you rightly say we can't rest in our royal or laws and and, and and live the Taishi Hyogun dream for the next 20 years yes. as much as you it'd be a personal thing for you to say okay yeah you know yeah. That's <laughs> but if you're doing the right thing yes. the next generation let's get it on yes. let's let's see the next oh, generation she's come actually along. doing it at the right time see and, and that's, that's, that's why I said I meant it I was very serious I meant the time you're doing on time the time is perfect yes it's a great you. time to do it thank and you. I know that you will have a lot of success I hope so. And you, you, you get a lot of support. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So I definitely have from, a lot of support. From my understanding, sponsors. I heard earlier today she has a lot of support. I right? do have a lot of support. I have um, a few sponsors. I'm going to name them because, you know, they're sure. really instrumental in making this happen. I have k &M Construction Management. I have New Haven Corporate Services. I have Rotown Wholesale. Gatorade, I have Overseas Territories Program Fund, I have Maria's by the Sea, Les Soleil Chick Boutique, VVI Twilight Imitation, which is also another step forward because we have this, we're building them, and then we have the meet coming up where they can actually interact and compete on that level and see that happening. Good. Then we have the governor, you know, His Excellency Mr. McClary, we have the premier, Dr. Honorable, uh, I mean, Orlando Smith, sorry, we have Honorable J. Alvin Christopher, we have Honorable Mark Vantipole, we have Honorable Myron Walwyn, Ms. Myron Walwyn, we have Honorable Marlon Penn, and that's just name of you. So, so you really have a mismatch, have you? I, <laughs> I, 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 I went to work, I definitely yeah, went oh, to you, work. Oh, I was going to say, wow, you, uh, <laughs> you, you, you use your track, your track <laughs> skills there, you really work hard. Yeah. <laughs> Take notes, that's how you do it. Yeah. Wow. When you want to win. <laughs> wow. That's, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm blown away by this. <laughs> That's pretty but it's good. Um, you also said there's a cover charge. There's a cover charge of $20. Um, we have, I'm hoping that there's a lot of kids that's coming out. We also are giving out t-shirts and bags for the first 90 register, regi kids that register. So what age group are we looking at? I'm looking at all age groups, to be honest with you, but like I said, we're starting from young and we're developing as they get older. So as young as you want, if, the, if it's the kids, you bring the kids, let them have fun because what my goal for the workshop is we're going to have a morning session and an afternoon session. The morning session is geared for basically information. We're going to be talking about nutrition. We're going to be talking about anti-doping because that's something that's coming in within the BVI and you're going to be tested now in our, in our country. And then you're going to have massage therapy in terms of maintenance of the body and the chiropractic care. So we're going to have that seminar but the the goal for me is not for them to lecture to the kids but to actually be interactive Interact. and have feedback so when we have our massage therapist there he's not only going to talk about the hamstring and the different injuries that you can have but he's going to pull from the audit audience with kids that actually have hamstring injuries quad injuries or back injuries and he's going to work with them and show them techniques or things that they can do to help prevent themselves from you know going into that direction of getting out more serious injuries and then we're going to go on the track later on and we're going to do some drills warming up how serious it is to take warming up serious because if you practice bad habits during your warm-up it's going to it's going to transfer over into your competition so we have to make sure that we take the warming up the serious the cooling down serious and also we're going to be talking about drills we're going to be talking about long jump hurdles and different things like that and we're also going to go into weights whether or not if it's the older kids or the younger kids we're not going to necessarily have them pick up weights but have like stability and core strength and different things that they can work up just on their their own body weight but uh, uh, i'm glad that you mentioned that um from your experience mm -hmm. um how old do you think one should be before they start weights weight training Honestly, I don't have an answer for that. Okay. Um, I think that's mostly geared for me, my personal experience. I was one not to like really like to lift weights at a young age, mm -hmm. but there are a lot of things that we can do to supplement the the weight lifting. We can do a lot of body weight single leg squats in terms of with younger kids we're working on body awareness and stability and balance so there's a lot of things that we can do to actually strengthen those areas before they actually go into the weights for instance with the blocks I don't if I have younger kids I won't have them go out of blocks there are other things that we need to strengthen before they go into the blocks so, so they can be effective coming out of the blocks as opposed to starting bad habits going into From the blocks and, and then it's a little bit harder for you to correct that mistake mm -hmm. in the end so there are different things that we can do that necessarily will basically give in the direction of the full-blown blocks and weights lifting. Very well said, Paul. No, I'm, I'm just overwhelmed because, I mean, the question you asked is about weight lifting. It's, mm -hmm. it's a very technical one. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, I remember a, a, a top coach in the UK, when he, when, when he was asked a question, he says, well, it depends on the child. Yeah. 
things, you know. And but you it also depends on the sport, because if you look at uh, gymnastics, well, they start at an early age. But I was going to go on to say that, you know, at each child is different, each event is different, each sport is different. And so therefore you, you can't pin an age on them. But at the same time, the, the important thing to remember is that you don't want children to be lifting weights too early. Too early. Right. So you try to keep them away from weights as long as they can, because once they're on, you know, you can't go back again. Once you're on, you're on. You yes. know? That's right. That's right. <laughs> it's that sort of thing. So. Really, um, well, good stuff. And one last thing, I said it's from 9 to 3. Registration starts at 8, 830. 8.30. We have a lot of information to cover within a short period of time because it's one day. So I'm hoping that all the parents will bring their kids out between 8.30 and 9 o'clock to register, and then we can get the program rolling by 9. And you did say the first 90 kids. The first 90 kids. Nine gets one of those yes. pretty t-shirts that you're wearing? Gets one of the shirts, yes, definitely. I wonder what a, a big kids like, like Paul and I would get. Well, <laughs> you get, you get, you get <laughs> if you get there, we have bigger get shirts get too. We have bigger shirts. You, oh, no, no, I'm not finished yet. If you get there early and you pay your $20, you may get there. No, hey, come on. Hey. Yeah, the, pay your registration fee. Well, yeah, well, you know. It's a learning you know. experience. Yeah. Going okay. to a good uh, okay. cause. Okay. Uh, and there is an incentive for the kids. Yes. Um, I'm going to have some incentives for the kids in terms of record breaking. So that's something I'm going to put out there on the, okay. at the camp. Okay. Well, we so are most on the time of We are, but we have two very important texts that have come in. The first one says, Carl, you're doing a really, really good job. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Can I shake your hand with that? Congratulations. Oh, of course, of course. Of course. I, I, I thank you for sending that one. Well, I have to read it. Yes. You know, come on. I see I'm not biased. That's good. Yeah. I could have changed and my I, name. I, 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 yeah. 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 Second one, it says, Taisha, I think you are doing a great job by bringing awareness to the island. You are thank truly you. a star and beautiful inside and out. Your husband loves you. Thank you. I love you too, baby. <laughs> is he here? He's is coming he? tomorrow. Everyone oh, is I coming think tomorrow. So. <laughs> that text that I text Oh, man. You just, you just can just give a day for me, right? No, okay, but Carl, okay. he saw okay. the way you were looking at her. And yeah, okay. no, no, I was actually looking at the shirt. I, yeah, you know, I was, I was actually looking at the shirt. She is Mrs. Harrigan. Oh, that's Scott, right, that's yes. right. That's right. Yes. That's right. Don't worry. I was just trying I, to get one of the shirts, there, Mr. Scott. Just one of the shirts. I got your back. <laughs> I got your back. But on that note. <laughs> on, on getting your back note? On that note. Yeah, yeah. Don't remember, after the screen is off, don't worry. She'll be, she be safe. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll be there tomorrow, too. Don't worry. 7.30. I'm getting there early. Good. Like the parents. Saturday, yes. Like the parents. Saturday. Okay, Saturday. Saturday. Get it right. Yes. yes. Paul? So, and, and it, well, let's take some final words from Tisha. Yes. Come on, she's a I can't wait to see everybody out there. Just come out there, have some fun, bring your kids. They'll love the experience. Good. Can't wait to see it. Want to hear about the antidote. Want to see all the stuff they're going to do. I'm excited about it. We needed this kind of stuff. It's the right time and the right place. Folks, on that note, I just have to say um, thank you guys for tuning in. And uh, until next week, good sports in here. Efforts is the greatest.